All right. Um, in my previous um tutorial on overclocking, um, you know, I shouldn't post the guide so early. Um, but then, anyways, what's done is done. So um, I like to add some stuff. Um, overclocking. Um, one of one one of the most important factor I forgot to mention in my previous video is ratio your CPU to RAM ratio and you know it's not that I forgot to mention it is that I don't know back then you know I, I thought about ratio but I didn't think it was that important till now well till I bought new RAM you know Viper anyways um just to overclock I bought new RAM um Patriot Viper um uh, Low cast seven 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 twenty um four gigabyte two gigabyte every stick um most important of all sixteen hundred megahertz and it's really overclockable um so what happens is when when you have a seven ninety i board um ratio from your FSP to your DDR3 RAM is really really important um, because you know I learned it the hard way I had 1333 with my Q9450 the old school CPU which is also running 1333 and it worked well you know on stock setting but once you overclock your CPU your RAM needs to go up too if if you're trying to do a sync mode, which is one on one, like both of both of them running on the same frequency to achieve the best quality of overclock. Um. So, anyways, this this RAM is probably dirt cheap right now. You can probably get them for like uh one ten or you know even less. I I don't know. But then um, I did overclock these up to 1800 megahertz, which um, makes it one to one with my CPU. 1600 mega, I mean 1800 megahertz means 3.6 gigahertz for me with with um, 8x multiplier. If you have 9550, you'll get 3.8, and if you have 9650 you'll get 4.0 um and you know these RAM are just terrific they're nice and everything but then um there's two well trusted brands um in RAM if you're over if you're about to overclock Viper and Dominator you know Dominator is more expensive but you know I would say it's um it's also better but then um, I didn't know back then because Dominator usually comes with a cast of nine 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 twenty four I believe, but I, you know I seen people overclocking it down to like six 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 eighteen or even lower, so it's crazy. If you have the money, get Dominator. If you don't, get Viper. Viper is easily overclocked on make you know the cast. I mean, not the cast, the megahertz, the frequency. You can go from 1600 to 1800 easy. But then, when you're trying to overclock the cast, it's really, really hard. So, if you have the money, Dominator. Looking for budget, get Viper. And, you know, please don't get no Corsair, XMS, you know, stuff like that. You know, I, I did. Look, these are my old RAM. And they're useless. They suck don't buy it they're not for overclock they're for retail you know they're putting these kind of RAM in system like out there and they're selling the brand PC and making like a shitload of money off of people who do not know how to build their own PC um you have any question anything about the voltage oh yeah voltage these runs 1.9 voltage stock when I'm running at um 1800 i ha my voltage is on 2.05 so 
so that's 0 0.5 less than 2.1 um and it's got very nice um cooling passive cooling so it it does it does not run hot or anything um you have any question please comment or email me at spectagin at hotmail.com and I'll put it in the info box so you guys can see it better. Um, if you have any requests on videos, um, questions, feel free to ask. That's it for now. See you guys later.